Well, this week is Sneaker Week here in Portland. It's just the second year of the event, and it already has a very big following. It is your chance, of course, to connect with sneaker collectors, sneaker creators, and of course, it is a big deal for Portland's very own sneaker shop slash coffee shop. We have Deadstock Coffee here. We have Ian, the owner creator of Deadstock, and then we have Connor, the creator of what we're gonna do here. We said at the top of the show, we, we thought of Sneaker Week, we immediately thought of you because when you opened Deadstock Coffee two years ago? Yeah, two and a half, yeah. Two and a half years ago, I did a live shot there when you opened. Mm -hmm. And so of course, Sneaker Week, you do a lot with Sneaker Week. We thought, okay, could you come on and make a coffee with us or something? You always do, you do a little uh, sneaker, you put sneakers, a little stencil on yep. top of the coffee. Yep. And you're Mainly like, all designed by this dude. You're like, well, we can't, you know, get an espresso machine in the studio. So instead we take it five million steps further. You guys actually put sneakers into coffee? Yep. What? Yeah, yeah so, uh, so essentially, it would, I would let him talk more about <laughs> it, but essentially we just take, uh, kind of, go ahead, explain. Yeah, explain. How, you explain. came up with this. Yeah. <laughs> so we just dip the shoes in coffee and it dyes the shoe. What? Yeah, What'd you how'd, you, how'd you think of it though? Oh man, so I saw a video <laughs> of uh, this guy pouring Hennessy on his Yeezys <laughs> and uh, I was like, that's actually a pretty cool color and I thought we could do it with coffee and uh, they don't get dirty when you wear them when you work at the shop either, so that's a plus. Oh! They smell coffee all day. Do yep. they smell like coffee too? Uh, yes. Yeah, they actually yep. I so. love that. Are these two different types of coffee? They kind of look like they've got different, are they different colors? Yeah, so we actually got, uh, we actually have coffee here. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we roast, you know what I'm saying? That's our coffee, we're out here roasting yeah. beans. But uh, we roast our own coffee and this is some of it. This is older coffee, and it will not be uh, consumed after. Good, uh, so, good to you know. know. What I'm saying, let everybody know. <laughs> um, but uh, this is actually a berry tea, oh. and so uh, you know, I thought maybe it might be kind of cool uh, to switch it up. You know, sure. for, for the for the camera. Yeah. You know, we we thought of something early this morning. Figure out, <laughs> let's change it all. So uh, I'm gonna let Connor it. actually lead it. Okay. Uh, somehow we found out your size. Yes. Uh, and Magic. Yeah. So you have a choice. You can either dip it in coffee or in tea. Uh, oh my gosh. Please, it'll it'll turn kind of like a pinkish red. Yeah. Um, I feel yeah. like maybe the pinkish red. Everything on our show is pink. Do I yeah. just? Yeah. What's the? So basically, you just dunk it in. Oh my gosh. This is like everything that your mom said not to do with your brand new perfect white shoes. You just leave it in there for a little bit, kind of let it soak up. Oh my gosh, they're totally becoming pink. How's yours yeah. over there, Connor? This is very warm, brown. by the way. This is like a is, nice yeah. little spa treatment for yeah. my hands and the shoes. And then basically you just take it out. What? Oh my goodness! Yeah, so you really gotta what? like pour them out. Yep, yeah. You gotta pour it out. So people could really just do this at their house. I mean, you could, but... But it wouldn't be as cool as doing <laughs> could, it at dead can't. stock, right? Yeah, so we, uh, we figured out actually how to make the color stay. Because oh. essentially, um, the color will disappear uh, after you rinse it or whatever. Because it still will, you know, it'll stain it, but it'll, it won't be consistent. Uh huh. Um, so there's a little something in there to make it stay, but we can't Slide tell it anybody. Off a little bit. That's so cool. All the secrets if you want to dye your own huh. shoes at Deadstock. Now, Ian, before we run out of time, you're doing a lot of things yeah. with Sneaker Week. Yep. Yeah, we're doing, uh, we got, uh, we had an event yesterday right called in. Deconstructed. We talked about uh, the difference between uh, packaging for shoe boxes and uh, coffee bags. Uh, we got some art shows. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on. So everybody just, you know, sneakweekpdx.com. Come through, check it out. Look how different this is compared to the original one. Yeah. That's crazy. Connor, you are a genius. Yeah, Christian, our producer, is talking in my ear. I want some, those pink shoes. That's so cool. And you feel like you actually made them. So again, Come through, Christian. Let's get it. Yes. Yeah. And of course, if you always want sneaker-themed coffee or to go hang out with Ian and Connor, you guys are both geniuses, yep. go to deadstockcoffee.com and then sneakerweekpdx.com because it goes all the way through Saturday. Mm -hmm. So there's still tons of time. Tons of time. To go check it out. Thank yeah. you. And all the events are free, right? Yes. Every event is free. So yep. great. Well, thank you guys so yeah, much.